Hello, good evening everyone, and welcome to Old Iron Garage. I'm out here in my little uh, room in my garage, and uh, tonight on the bench, we have a, um, this is going to be a really short video, we have the carburetor off of a uh, Tecumseh HH120. This carburetor is off of the Bolin's 1253, the Bolin's Husky 1253 that I started to um, fix up and get going last year. Um, I worked on it a little bit, I think, over the winter, like uh, a year ago, and then I was rushing in the spring trying to hurry up and get it ready for garden tilling, but ran into some issues with the engine and have not really worked on it since. And then I recently, if you watch any of my recent videos, I brought home another exactly identical tractor, another Bolin's Husky 1253. Everything's exactly the same. They only made that model for one year. And um, it will run on spray, but it will not run on its own. Uh, it is not getting fuel, so the carburetor needs cleaned and rebuilt. But I rebuilt this carburetor a year ago. Unfortunately, I accidentally let it set with fuel in it. I thought I um, shut off the fuel valve and drained the fuel of the carburetor and ran it, um, ran it until it died, but apparently not. I forgot. There was... There was some uh, discolored fuel in it, but it was only in there a year, and it was ethanol-free, so we should be okay. But I'm going to go ahead and tear apart this carburetor and just spray it out, make sure everything's nice and clean, make sure the um, the uh, needle and seat seal off when the float is in the up position, as it, as it should, and then I'm just going to put it back together. Um, yeah, so anyways... Let's dive in. I'm going to point you guys down here so you can see everything I do. Don't mind the Kohler KT17 engine over here below the camera. I have, I'm waiting on some more parts in the mail that I thought I had and I didn't. So I just kind of shoved it aside so I can work over here. Yeah, here it is, the Kohler KT17 for the tractor that's behind me. My uh, Boland's QT17. Anyway, let's let's tear this apart. Yeah, I rebuilt this with all new with a with a uh, new uh, carb kit a year ago. The needle still looks nice and clean, looks really good. Um, and I also bothered to put a brand new uh, um, one of these doodads in here, put a new uh, seal in there, put a whole new kit in there actually um, to the, the spring loaded drain to drain the fuel. And then I didn't bother to use it. So, um, I did have the fuel bowl nice and clean. Let's see if you can get a view. It is, that was not there. The bottom was pitted, but it wasn't all brown. I had it all nice and cleaned up. So that I will have to um, soak in probably some evapo rust and clean that rust out of there and check it for any pinholes. I don't see anything that looks like it might be a pinhole on the bottom, but that I'm going to have to address. So I don't think I will be putting this carburetor fully back together tonight. Because that, eva that evaporus takes a little bit. So, it's not something I can just do right now. Oop. I'm going to check this float. I don't hear anything in it, but I'm going to check it. Look it over real good and make sure it still floats as well. Looks good though. 
the, uh, come on, slippery thing, can't turn it around. The needle, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it looks perfect. As it should, I mean, I just rebuilt this thing last year. Now, I did not have an actual, like, uh, fuel pump to go with this carburetor, so I just put a barbed fitting in there and uh, ran a line directly to the to a fuel filter and then to the tank. And it did run like that. I didn't have any issues because of that. I didn't have any fuel delivery issues. But um, I'm going to take a... I remembered I have a good fuel pump on a tractor that I started to fix up a number of years ago and then well I started a restoration on it but then my life kinda changed a lot and I stopped working on it and have not worked on it since so I'm gonna get that from there I'm gonna get that fuel pump off of that tractor and put it onto this one don't know if you guys can see it but there's a line of black something you can kinda see it in there. I don't know what that is. Some kind of sediment. I will clean that out of there. <sighs> so I guess tonight I'm just going to be cleaning the carburetor but not not reassembling. And that's fine. That's just fine. Let's see, can I get a screwdriver into that? Um, yes, I can. Come on now. Nice. Easy does it. Easy does it. Don't. Come on now. I'm trying to get this bugger out. It started binding up on me, so I just started going real easy on it. Okay, got that out. That's pretty important to get out. You want to clean that. Make sure all the little ports and holes and stuff are clear. Mixture screw. Take that guy out. Oh. I don't know if I have another one of these gaskets, so I'm going to leave it alone. I think that's what I did that last time, because I see that I put a little bit of RTV on there, a little bit of silicone gasket maker. So I'm going to leave that alone. Yeah, kind of smells like old fuel. Alright, well let's continue. I hate putting these plastic straws in these. Sometimes they don't want to go in. So first I'm just going to kind of give it a whole thing a once over. Spray off the outside a little bit. Try to clean her up. Get off any debris that comes off really easy. I'm going to spray out the bore. The, the last thing I want to spray out is all the little ports. Because what I, I, what I don't want to do is spray out all the little ports and stuff first. And then when spraying off the outside, I somehow managed to get a little bit of dirt or debris in the ports. 
That's what I don't want to do. So, I always spray those out last. I think that's done. Hmm. Shoot, I'm out of paper towel in here. Well, I'll set it upside down in here. This, I'm going to, that's that barbed fitting. That, I'm going to set aside because that's not going to get reused. I'm going to use an actual fuel pump. Like I said, I'm not doing a real, like a true carb cleaning because this stuff was all very clean. This carb operated perfectly fine last year, this time of year, somewhere around this time of year. Basically all this stuff, I'm just going to kind of spray it off. Um, it's pretty clean for the most part, but because it's going on to a questionable rag. I will give it a light spraying before reassembling. There's a bunch of tiny holes in this jet. So I'm going to uh, spray each and every one individually. I am going to stop and turn on a couple of ventilation fans because it's smelling pretty strong like carb cleaner in here. So I don't feel like I feel like uh, catching a buzz. <laughs> I got a couple of small, quiet ventilation fans. So let's just pump some uh, fresh air into this room. I'm not even going to disassemble this to clean it. I'm literally just going to spray it off uh, as it sits because it's really quite clean. Um, honestly, there's probably no need to even spray some of these parts off, but. When spraying out the fuel bowl, oops, when spraying out the fuel bowl, I noticed the carb cleaner turned kind of yellowish. That's from that old fuel in there. It's about about the color of that old fuel that came out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean that rust out of there. That's no good. Can't have that. So I'm gonna take the uh, the drain plug, spring loaded drain plug out, and uh, soak just the bowl. Come on now. Don't 
won't be a pain in the butt. There we have it. I got the uh, keeper off. These little drain plug kits, these little spring loaded drain plug kits are handy to have around. There we go, it is out. These are handy to have around. I always keep a few of those in stock. When those little rubber seals on that uh, plug get dried out, they leak. They crack and they leak. So I need a container now. Um, I wasn't prepared because I wasn't uh, um, expecting to see that much rust. So I'm going to go find a container. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use this one. This has parts in it for my uh, QT17. But uh, I'm just going to dump them out. <laughs> it's not like it's any little parts I'm worried about losing. Just got to clean this out. Jeez, what is all that? That's weird. The reason I'm cleaning this out is because evapo rust is reusable, so I don't want excess dirt and debris just getting in there for no good reason. I always try to clean up parts that I'm soaking. So, put that in the bowl. Get our uh, evapo rust. Guys, I don't know if, um, if you've ever used this stuff before. This is good stuff really good stuff this is my go-to rust remover um, solution as far as like if you're looking for like a uh, rust remover where you it's like a watery liquid or you just soak this you just soak it in there um, this is my favorite stuff I've tried knockoffs and off-brand versions of this I've tried even like the rust-oleum version of this I believe I believe is rust-oleum which rust is a good reputable brand so I thought okay it should be just as good it wasn't quite as good, at least not in my experience. This fluid will get dark over time. You can run it through a filter, if you wish, like a coffee filter. Make sure you have several of them, because as it plugs up, you're going to want to swap it out, because it's not, not going to drain through them. Um, yeah, so, literally, just, you know, Put it in that, in that stuff and let it set 24 hours. Come back with a uh, come back with a wire brush, a little wire brush, give it a scrubby scrub, rinse it off in water, and then immediately coat it in something so it doesn't flash us, like WD-40 or something like that. Anyways, um, yeah, this was just going to be a really short video, but it's even shorter than I thought because I was hoping to, was planning to just spray it all out and reassemble on the spot, but um, I can't reassemble until that bowl is clean. I do not want rust in my fuel bowl. So um, that's it guys. Um, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I mean, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a great video, it wasn't very entertaining, but I thought, hey, you know what, I'll record it anyways. Um, yeah, uh, check out my other videos if you haven't yet, um, if you like the content on this channel make sure you hit that uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, please share the channel with uh, with uh, your friends all right thanks guys I'll see you in the next one bye